and you're happy to go. Slicing ripe, beautiful heirloom tomatoes and gently warming fresh red potatoes and green beans. Hillary and Alison Malone's love of cooking started at an early age. As a child, um, I would say that it all started in my mother's kitchen. Uh, she allowed me great freedom to go and pull down bowls and different ingredients and make a big mess. And it just afforded me a little creative freedom, feeling like I was safe and welcome in the kitchen. And as we got older to adulthood, we now will put on big family dinners and we all get in the kitchen for Thanksgiving and Christmas. So it's always been a very central part of our family. Sailing off the waters of Vancouver Island plays a part in the family tradition for the Malones. For over 25 years, their mother Lorna has raced with several crews. As well, vacationed on the Ariel, their custom-built boat, with her family of five on numerous recreational trips. The girls were always involved, and as they got older and my experiences on the boat developed, whether it was racing around Vancouver Island or going up to the Broughtons for a cruise, I would be looking for different recipes that I could pull together and take with me. And during that process, I felt I think there's uh, a place for a book for recreational boaters here. Combining their love of food and sailing with expertise in cooking and creative writing, Hillary, Allison and Lorna decided to create Sea Salt, Recipes from the West Coast Galley, a cookbook that highlights using simple ingredients and reduced times for cooking, designed for smaller kitchens. You want to get that full flavor, rounded flavor, without having to bring on board everything that you have in your home kitchen, which won't be possible. And again, not only with the, with the actual ingredients itself, but with equipment. The book also focuses on using products that can be found locally on Vancouver Island. We really are born and bred island girls, and we really wanted to um, use our book as another avenue to talk about some of these people and the products that they're doing and the hard work that they're bringing to it like a fresh albacore tuna loin from St. Jean's Cannery or cold smoked tuna from Northwest Bay for their signature Niçois salad. It's such a beautiful product, that smokiness is lovely. We've got some of our green beans here. I'm gonna put some of this into the salad. I'm gonna put some of our crisp potatoes in there. And we're gonna season this baby up and get it ready for service. Each of these recipes really connects to our family, whether it's something we made when we were young or whether it's something that my mom developed to take out on the boat when they were racing. So she really had to develop some recipes that were going to feed a hungry crew in the middle of the night in stormy weather, but that were also going to be satisfying and really taste delicious. Published in April of 2013 and continuing to receive great support from the island as well internationally, Sea Salt Recipes from the West Coast Galley has grown to be more than just a cookbook for small kitchens. You know, having a really nice meal that doesn't take forever and it isn't intimidating to start. So that's really was our goal with this and I think that hopefully we've helped people bring a little something different and fantastic to their table. For more recipes or to incorporate the sea salt lifestyle into your own kitchen, visit seasaltcookbook.com. In Nanaimo, I'm Jocelyn Matwee.